a volunteer is going back in the water. Yeah, absolutely, Chris. I mean, I couldn't have said that a week ago, but uh, now I'm quite confident, you know, with the public support we've had, which has been absolutely outstanding. Overwhelming, in fact, I think you'd say. Um, and that's still, that's still occurring at all. You know, we've got people offering help from all over the place that we'd never even envisaged or would never come across ever before. Um, I think it's down, definitely the public support is definitely the way to go for us. It seems to be at the moment, but we, we need to work very hard in the next few months to actually make sure that we maintain that because um, that's going to see us easily through to the end of this year and the start of next year. But, you know, we do need then to work harder on, on maintaining the service long term. We'll be um, afloat at 10 o'clock. We have a few tasks that we have to do. Mm -hmm. Um, we then have to go for our man overboard procedures, which take us about 10 minutes just to make sure the skills are last. Um, do all the radio checks of all our partner agencies. We'll then be on patrol and uh, who knows, well, we, we could be tasked immediately to um, an incident, we don't know. But we'll be round here round from 11 o'clock onwards, I'd say, in this, in this area. I'd ask everybody to wave to your volunteers crew. Um, we always rely on that and that does give us heart when we see the encouragement. But when you do wave, make sure it's a gesture that we can actually understand and not one that perhaps may be an emergency.